Hi, I'm Jason DeVoe. This is Tom Wolf. Tom, why is pressure such a critical issue when it comes to spraying? Well, Jason, pressure, I think, controls the three most important things about spraying. First of all, the rate controller uses pressure to give you the right flow rate for your travel speed to make sure your application volume is constant. Secondly, uh, the right pressure determines the fan angle of the nozzle so that you have the right overlap, let's say. And thirdly, it's of course about droplet size. We want to make sure we have the right spray quality so that the product we're applying works well. Hmm. So Jason, if you want to know the pressure at the nozzle, how do we do that? Well, you could trust your pressure gauge in the cab, but it's not really measuring the pressure where it matters, and that's what the nozzle's experiencing. So what I like to do is take a pressure gauge and one of these quarter turn fittings and replace a nozzle with this. That way you see what pressure the nozzle is actually experiencing. And if it's different from what the operating pressure in the cab is saying, you got to go with this. Okay, so let's say that the, uh, the pressure in the cab is saying 50, but this one's saying 40. What, what do you do? Well, it's all about what the nozzle is experiencing, so you raise the pressure until this tells you what it is you want to see. Okay, so you would just add the pressure drop to your in-cab reading to get the actual nozzle pressure. That's right. So if we know the pressure, and we know it's operating correctly, how do we know if we're getting the spray quality and the coverage that we should be getting? Yeah, it's a lot of visual inspection, I think. I mean, it's a really you're stepping out of the cab, uh, setting your pressure at a certain uh, uh, setting, and then uh, looking at what, what's happening. So what would that look like? Well, we want to look at, let's say, we want to look at some fan angles. I mean, okay. we could simulate that. So, you know, so we're, we're in individual nozzles. nozzles. Right. Okay. And so, let's say we're at a low pressure and our fan angles are just barely forming. We're clearly not overlapping enough. That's very visual and a very obvious thing. But we raise the pressure a little bit, we get some overlap. And this is actually what's recommended uh, in most manuals, about 30% overlap. Well, that's good, isn't it? We're overlapping. Yeah, it is. And, you know, if you put a, uh, maybe a volumetric measurement underneath your pad in, you would see that there would be a good distribution of water. The problem is with low drift nozzles. There's a lot of small droplets right here in this region, or rather large droplets right here in this region. So there's actually, most of the small droplets are here, most of the large droplets are here, so you get good coverage and bad okay, coverage. So big droplets means fewer droplets. Fewer droplets. So where should we be? Well, we want to sort of dilute those few droplets as much as possible by stretching out even further. So going to a wider fan angle, maybe raising the pressure, and uh, or maybe raising the boom. So that's like 100% overlap. That's right. So our boom needs to be high enough and our pressure needs to be high enough so that the fan width at the target height is twice the nozzle spacing. Well, I think that's really cool. Where can we go to find more information about all things spraying, Tom? What, Jason? It's sprayers101.com. Sprayers101.com. Yes, sprayers101.com.